Hi, today I'm going to describe the work I've done as part of my course project for the course E617 Sensors in Instrumentation conducted by Professor Siddharth Thalur at IIT Bombay. My work is on the localization using mobile wireless sensor networks. I'm Aaron John Sabu and I'm from the Department of Electrical Engineering at the Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. We'll be looking into what wireless sensor networks are. We'll be looking into the aspect of localization using wireless sensor networks. We'll look into a few other applications of wireless sensor networks. And then the work I've done as part of my project, the effect of tag linkages for mobile wireless sensor network based localization. And we'll be concluding with the future scope for this project and related work. So what are wireless sensor networks and what are we doing with wireless sensor networks? Wireless sensor networks are groups of spatially distributed and dedicated autonomous sensors for monitoring and recording the physical conditions of the environment and organizing the collected data at a central location if we had recorded it. They have been a topic of interest due to their versatility and diverse capabilities despite having simple sensors that measure local quantities such as temperature, pH, pressure, humidity, etc. We'll be looking into how wireless sensor networks can be used for localization and we'll be bringing this to an application which can improve the conditions of living for animals and human beings at IIT Bombay. A benefit in his work on the evolution of wireless sensor networks for Silicon Labs has described how wireless sensor networks have developed throughout the years from more expensive and fewer sensors to cheaper but larger quantities of sensors, from discrete circuits and multi-chip solutions to system-on-chip devices which include receivers and processors in the very same chip, and from one-way communication links to bidirectional links and mesh and star designs. Further optimizations have led to the widespread applications of WSNs and localization is a particular application that WSNs have been extremely useful in. Let's look into how localization can be done using wireless sensor networks. In general, localization can be done using multiple methods and GPS is a very common uh, technique. However, the accuracy of GPS data is relatively low. At about 10 meters or even worse. Lee and others have suggested a more accurate localization method that includes wireless sensor networks of Zigbee's uh, wherein the relative signal strength RSSI uh, is used for trilateration based localization. The mobile target tracking problem, the MTT problem, intends to find the moving path of a target in a field based on target locations that are sampled at random intervals. Gupta and others discussed several algorithms for solving this problem using two aspects. The first one is determining the cu current location of the target, that is lo localization and path tracing. And the second one is processing information collaboratively among multiple sensor nodes. Traditional methods involving the informed selection of sensors, binary sensor-based methods with centralized and distributed architectures, and methods based on triangulation are suggested for tracking, while information can be processed using leader-based algorithms or distributed algorithms. So why do we need a new navigation system? Unlike open environments, locations with several obstructions or jamming hinder the proper functioning of the global positioning system. In such scenarios, it is necessary to develop a positioning system that can complement the GPS. Localization for mobile targets can be performed using beacon-based methods, wherein some beacons, aware of their positions, provide geographic information to ordinary sensor nodes to localize, and the precision of localization increases with the number of beacons. Sue and others propose an algorithm utilizing mobile beacons that traverse the network deployment area and to broadcast beacon packets to generate a number of virtual beacons. The distance between the sensor node and the beacon can be calculated using RSSI, that is a received signal strength indicator which we had seen some time back. 
since a single mobile beacon system can have issues such as collinearity due to the straight line moving trajectory of the mobile beacon a three mobile beacon assisted mechanism is suggested the object that is the sensor node si is localized as the weighted centroid of three beacon positions as shown over here jiang and others propose using mobile angle nodes to maximize the localization accuracy while decreasing the energy consumption of wireless sensor networks an angle node moves based on an equilateral triangle trajectory in a wsn area and broadcasts position and time messages periodically these messages on reception are used via rssi based trial iteration to determine the position of unknown nodes those sensitive to the standard deviation of noise the algorithm reduces the number of beacon positions trajectory lengths and node density moreover it remains robust at high traveling speeds of the angle node now let's have a look into some other applications of wireless sensor networks so what makes up a wireless sensor network according to you and ephraimites a typical wireless sensor network consists of a number of sensor nodes and a control center the sensor node collects in observation data from the surrounding environment performs local processing if required and routes the process data to the control center the control center makes a final decision based on all the data it re receives from the sensor node so the work by you and ephraimites considers three options for a system of k sensor nodes and a control center The first case is a centralized option that is the transmission of data to the control center without any loss of information at the side of the sensor. The final decision is made based on the comprehensive collection of information at the control center. The second case is the distributed option where a local decision made by the sensor node is sent as a binary quantity to the control center. The final decision is made by the control center based on these k binary quantities the third case is a quantized option that is a quantized m bit quantity is sent after local processing by each sensor node to the control center that is m times k km bits are sent in total and the final decision is made based on the k quantized quantities the three options centralized distributed and quantized are com compared based on the probability of error pe which is supposed to be small the probability of false alert pf which is again supposed to be small and the probability of detection pd which is supposed to be large the distributed scheme is observed to be superior in energy consumption and robustness the centralized scheme uses fewer nodes but the distributed option does not need so much more of sensors but just fewer than twice that number to achieve the same detection performance next we come across the neighbor discovery problem the neighbor discovery problem considers situations where sensor nodes find their neighbors constantly in mobile sensor networks by communicating with each other while in motion and forward the collected information to a central command center here the active and dormant status of sensors can be controlled hence reducing the energy consumption significantly however this may cause additional discovery latency since the discovery of the neighboring nodes have overlapping active slots previous research had introduced the group based method where a third state for waking up actively is used to communicate the schedule and verify the neighborhood of nodes new and others propose an algorithm that considers the embedded spatial properties and actively modifies the active time of, of nodes depending on the number of undiscovered neighbors this has been tested using simulations and the discovery time has been found to be minimal when compared to algorithms presented in existing literature Now let's have a look at our problem statement the effect of tag linkages for mobile wireless sensor network based localization So what is the idea The Indian Institute of Technology Bombay campus spread across 
over 500 acres. It's home not only to humans but also a wide uh, array of plants and animals from leopards and crocodiles to cows, dogs and cats. Unfortunately, in recent times, human activities in the institute have been disrupted by stray dogs. Also, survival for these dogs has become difficult due to the movement of heavy-duty construction vehicles along the same routes, posing a threat to their lives. This report proposes a technique to track and guide dogs while avoiding harm to the human population as well as the dogs in the institute. Based on the concept of mobile target tracking, as discussed by Gupta and others, a network of distributed sensors may be placed at suitable locations in the institute. However, owing to the large size of the campus, this is not a scalable solution since the number of sensors and the corresponding energy consumption will be huge. Moreover, the distribution of dogs across the institute need not be uniform, due to which placing sensors at certain locations will not be efficient although there is a possibility for a small number of dogs to visit these areas. As a result, we can incorporate ideas from the paper on LMAT by Jiang and others, that is localization with a mobile anger node based on trilateration and wireless sensor networks. Here, the movable sensors on the dogs can behave as angers using which other movable sensors can localize themselves via trilateration. The number of fixed sensors can hence be reduced if the number of dogs is large. This is demonstrated using a simulation wherein the number of fixed sensors has been reduced to 6 in a 10 meter by 10 meter area where each sensor can sense other sensors within a radius of 7 meters. Three mobile sensors are placed such that the size of their point represents the uncertainty of finding their location. We define the neighbors of a sensor at a particular moment to be the sensors capable of connecting to and providing information about position and time to the sensor for trial iteration at that instant. A simple geometric uncertainty principle is used wherein the uncertainty of the location of the sensor increases given the number of neighbors is less than 4 and it decreases otherwise at an exponential rate that is proportional to the number of neighbors. Secondly, we notice that free-ranging dogs generally exhibit territoriality. Dogs in the institute have been observed to be territorial in considerably small pieces of land that is individual hostels, small strips of road, etc. Similarly, the three sensors in the simulation are constrained within particular regions. So what do we observe in the simulation? First of all, we simulate without the tag links. Tag links are the links between the mobile sensors which are supposed to act as anchors as suggested by the LMAT algorithm. The mechanism is simulated in a two-dimensional space within the given dimensions. We initialize the sensors with some positional uncertainty as shown in the figure. On deactivating the links between the tags, they, there are larger periods when the number of links is 2 due to which the uncertainty of some sensors is observed to diverge with time. As shown over here, where the green sensor has an uncertainty that is almost half the area as the entire region and hence it certainly cannot be localized properly. Now we simulate with the tag links. The second simulation involves links between neighboring tags. This starts from the beginning of the simulation as shown in the figure. Over here, these yellow lines represent the tag links. Since the range is 7 meters and the distance between the red and the blue sensors is more than 7 meters, we don't observe a tag link over there. For simplicity, we assume that the range of the tag sensors is equal to that of the anchors, although in a practical scenario this might not be the case, since the tag sensors will consist of similar circuits and transceivers, since they are attached on the dogs, 
hence resulting in smaller ranges. The uncertainty of the previously mentioned sensors, that is the green sensor in the previous case, does not diverge in this particular scenario since the sensors are in contact with each other for several periods which previously had led to the divergence of uncertainty. That is, in this particular case, there are tag links which cause the number of tag links for the green sensor at a particular period to be more than 2 where previously it was 2 or 3 and hence its uncertainty does not diverge. This is depicted in this figure where the green sensor can be localized with very less uncertainty. So what more can be done to this particular problem? We have incorporated ideas from mobile target tracking and from LMAT. But have we actually had a look into the social and the hygienic issues? Wearing traditional sensors for a long duration may be detrimental to the health of the dog and the sensing quality may degrade from the environmental and hygienic conditions. As a result, biosensors and flexible electronics may be more appropriate. Moreover, the long-term effects of biological cybernetics and electronic stimulation on dogs is open to research. Although there has been progress in short duration studies on several animal species. Thank you.